You know, v VCU, uh, always, always tough opponent. Um, you know, they high energy, they, you know, their, their pressure is, is, is their staple. Um, you know, tough preparing for them <laughs> without, without uh, enough bodies in practice to, to go five on five, right? So um, when you get out there, you can't really simulate their pressure. You can't simulate their, their speed, their quickness, their athleticism. I thought our guys really battled for um, a good portion of the game, even though they, they had a lead from the start. I thought, I thought we, we did some good things. And then, you know, our guys just ran out of gas. And, um, and, and VCU's good, man. Credit to them. I thought, you know, they executed their game plan. They turned us over. Um, I thought a lot of our turnovers were just being sped up, um, a lot of unnecessary errors um, that that gave them 30 points. We gave them 30 points off a of turnover. So, you know, that's that's VCU's deal, and and uh, and we and we fell into the trap today. So, hats off to them, and you know, opportunity for us to get better. We just gotta gotta plug away, prepare for St. Bonaventure on Tuesday. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's, you know, it's challenging. You, you know, you try to watch as much film as you can. Um, you try to, you know, keep the guys who are, are able to go in condition as much as you can. But you realize, like, you can't simulate VCU. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like they're like the one opponent that's really uh, challenging to simulate just with their havoc. Um, but you know, we, we tried to do our best best we we could. Coaches were getting out there. I mean, we were out there. I was I was in the training room, um, trying to you know get out there and run around and press and trap. Uh, but you know, um, very hard to simulate. Uh, you know what VCU does and their speed, their quickness, their athleticism. Um, you know, uh, uh, an, another opponent. It may have been easier to prepare for um, other than them. But um, again, hats off to them. They they played. You know, they, they, they stuck to their game plan. They were able to execute it. And, you know, regardless of the pause or whatever, like they're a good basketball team, a good program. And, and we just got to, you know, continue to work to get better so that we can compete with them. A lot of passes go through guys' hands out of bounds, kind of being black and basic for the game. Do you think kind of that had to do with some of it, the, the preparation, or was it just kind of passed on to be a focus? Uh, I, I think it's a combination of um, fatigue frustration you know um, one of the things that we talk about is next play mentality you know mistakes are going to happen in the game um, but you got to brush it off get ready for the next play I felt like we uh, allowed um, you know certain guys allowed one mistake to carry over to another because they're thinking about the mistake they just made as opposed to all right, all right yo next play VCU turns people over we got to keep playing um, and uh, that got us a little bit today but you know something that we'll we'll, we'll be able to address identify and and use to, to, to help improve as we as we continue this journey. Any tactics that you can think of carrying errors in the next series, in the next second, to the next minute, the guys going on things? Certain guys, certain guys need, need to mature that way. Um, you know, I think that um, it's something that, you know, um, is common amongst amongst you know uh, young, young players to today, right? And and it's a part of your maturity. It's a part of your growth, right? So when you have um, you know players that have like really good experience, you have players that come into programs with older guys that are showing them the way. I think it's a lot easier. Like as we're building our program, we have a lot of players that you know haven't had like older guys to learn from. So they're trusting the coaching, right? When you get in the game. Um, you're out there now, right? So, um, you know, that's where we're relying on, you know, some of our older guys now to lead these young guys. And, and again, you know, that's hard when, you know, you got some of your older, more experienced guys out with COVID, um, not in practice, not at games. So it's just something that we got to battle through and, and just continue to, to uh, you know, focus on and make it a point of emphasis in practice and when we watch film. We had some dives today um, that kept us in the game early. 
where it was like, okay, we're, we're down 12, you know, there's a loose ball. And like, there was one play where C. Ray dove on, on, on a loose ball. There was another play where Khalil Brantley dove on a loose ball. That's who we have to be. We have to be that team. Like, we got to leave it all out on the line. Like, that's got to be LaSalle basketball, right? And, and that's what I want to see. Yeah, we saw, we saw more hustle plays today. I thought our guys came out and competed today, played hard today. We didn't lay down. VCU made some plays late in the game. They made some threes, and then they opened it up, and we had to start trying to press, and they got some dunks. But for the most part, I thought our guys competed. I thought we battled. We just couldn't get over the hump. We just couldn't get the lead into single digits where we felt like really, really good. Like, all right, we got them where we want them. We just couldn't get there. But I don't think it was because of lack of effort. I thought our guys played with effort. We just ran out of gas. I think what it does is it gives us somebody that, that has the confidence when they step on the floor every night to know, like, okay, I can get some stuff done. And now I think it, it gives everybody else the opportunity to say, okay, all right, if Cliff has it going, we can play through him. And now everybody else can settle in and, and figure out, like, how we'll get, how we can get other guys to compliment him, right? Uh, you know, you know, it's, you know, second game in a row where, you know, Cliff played well. Khalil had a really good game today. He got an opportunity to play extended minutes, play well. Um, and, and now we're just, you know, we're looking for some other guys to, to be able to step up for us to, to, to help on the offensive end because we, we, we need, we need some, 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 some other guys to step up in that department. Josh or Jameer today, what's the status on that? Um, you know what? You never know. Um, you know, with the COVID protocols, it's really all about their symptoms. Um, uh, you know, this morning both of those guys still had some symptoms, so so they weren't able to they weren't able to play. So, you know, we'll we'll have them evaluated again tomorrow. Um, if if they're clear tomorrow, then we'll be able to start moving them around, try to get the rust off of them, get them in into some game conditioning for Tuesday. But uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we have them. <laughs> so um, we need them. You know, obviously, you know, Jig is is our is our floor general and. And, and Josh, you know, we, you know, he, he's that other guy that can give us some, some scoring on the offensive end. And the one thing that's encouraging is, is like we've had Cliff with two games where he's played well. Josh has had a couple of good games. Jack Clark has had a couple of good games. We just got to have a night where everybody puts it all together, right? We haven't had that yet, so it's coming. Um, you know, we just got to keep working and, you know, keep these guys positive and encouraged that so we can continue to get better. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.